Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing tonight? I'm going to experiment tonight. Maybe get a little messy. I have a little painting technique. I learned it a few years ago, but I haven't done it for a while, so see what turns out. Um, I, just, uh, I put the PayPal like link for Helping Hands on the top of the chat there. I know the cruise is on's over, but every little bit coming in helps. And you know, you know, if you do it over, you know, spread it over months or whatever, or, or you want to put a big one-time donation or whatever you like. Every little bit helps just get getting recipients on a cruise. So if you feel it in your heart to donate, you click the PayPal above and you know maybe skip a, a Starbucks today or tomorrow and throw a few cents worth in. Um, I got a friend in the basement I'm going to bring up in a moment. What I'm going to do is called acrylic pour painting. Now, I know there's some different techniques and stuff. I'm doing it the way that way my friend showed me. Um, I know in the States, I know uh, Amy had some pour paint. I haven't seen any of that around here, but I'll show you what I do have. And the concoction will mix up. <laughs> um, We'll start bringing Amy up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm pretty good. Good. I just got back from having a massage and going to the chiropractor. Wow. Double treatment. My body feels great right now. <laughs> I wish. I'm tired and I've been cleaning. Still didn't find my neck and my bracelet. Oh no. That's starting to make it nuts because I thought, well, I had the bag up in this corner for the longest time. So I moved this table. I went through the shelf with all my scrapbooks. Thought maybe it fell in there. Yeah. It in there. Maybe it fell in the bin. Nope. Can't find it. Just, just means I'll have to get another bracelet when I go to Cozumel. Yep. <laughs> and maybe if they have extra charms that bribe them, I was like, can I, can I buy <laughs> this one and this one? <laughs> We'll see. Let's see who's in the chat. Well, we have Busby was the first one in, and then Amy said hello, and I said hello to them. Everybody say hello, and then we have Roxanne in. Was was the total last I heard? One of the other. There's a few more dollars come in. I think Sean mentioned it was like at forty one thousand or forty one hundred sorry I wish it was forty one thousand <laughs> forty one hundred is the last I think I heard the other morning on the uh, Tuesday morning on Sean's oh, 42 okay. okay it's up to 42 that's great welcome in uh Meg yes hey you Meg get, you get some rest girl <laughs> We were up late chatting last night ah. <laughs> and she's traveled. So yes, so 4,200, that's, that's great. Like I say, every little bit of help. So I'm not going to, no, like as long as I remember, I'm going to put it, keep putting up on the top chat there, top of the chat. So I got my computer here, but I got my camera over here. So <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm looking. <laughs> So I had done one, I had done some several of the poor paintings and I can't for the life of me find one, except I found this one that I had done and it was just red, pinks and reds and whites. I'm not really thrilled with the way it turned out because I had some of the technique my uh, former co-worker taught me that you get these really cool cells in it and I had some bigger canvases with that on. And then they can just do the use the acrylic pour paint and you can get one like Amy made me. So I need a juice pour, but I, I, I might have a multicolored dog if I uh, attempt to paint with it. 
So wait till you look to your movie again and then have a room and do it in there and you're getting a little doggy and kitty prints all over. <laughs> so you can buy the, the canvases at your dollar store. You can get the thicker ones that have the, the board or the frame, the inner frame. Or you can get the little cardboard ones. I prefer this kind. So that's what I'm going to work with. I'm not sure what size I got. So what I usually do, I haven't decided what colors I want to use yet either. Move some things around. I used to have tons of acrylic paint. But you know, over time it gets all dried out and stuff. So yeah, you can. Oops, <laughs> show you over here, but you're not <laughs> the papers. I get these ones at the like the dollar store or something. You get them at Michaels, it's different brands. I'm not sure where I got these ones. Acrylic. I'm trying to decide. I got this bright blue. You got pink. You get orange. You got a bright green too. But then I got what's this one? A tutti fruity. And I got a couple of reds. Light turquoise. You got white. We got black. My black is a little thick though, and I got yellow. Mike was those some, those brighter ones. Let's see if I can move my camera around. Give me a little adaptation so that I can uh, put it on the tripod. So what? what um, we did what we did before. We used the bottom like of a pop case, the, the thin cardboard tray and put a newspaper or something in there to keep try to contain the mess <laughs> I don't have one of those but I have some uh, these little plastic trays and so that paper I used to work for a pediatrician we used to have uh, boxes and boxes the the uh, liners that go in the what, mm. materials for the babies and they're kind of plasticized on the other side so and then I've got a couple little cups I'm just going to put down underneath the canvas when I set it in there. Just so it's not sitting right down on the uh, paper. Or I've seen uh, my coworker also took like the the thumbtacks or push pins that have a little bit of, of uh, an end to them so you can set it up a bit. Mm. So I've got a couple of these. Yes, Busby, I did do a little snap, crackle, and pop. I wish. So I'm trying to figure out what colors I want to see. I might do the blue. And the bright pink. Yeah, the orange and the green. And some white. Move this down here. Not me. Down here. I don't need the canvas yet. So what the concoction we made up of? We got five colors. Well, I'm not even sure where she learned it. So I got some disposable cups. Okay, oops, I need one more of those. And I got you know, these popsicle sticks. I've got uh, some tongue depressors left over from the doctor's office. <laughs> hey, he was going to just throw his stuff out, so. So the concoction we, we started with. Because we don't have, I've never seen the pouring paint, but you use some 
white glue. Just your regular school of glue. And I'm gonna try not to make too much because I don't have a huge canvas. I try not to get glue all over myself. You might want to use old clothes. <laughs> I have, a, I have a pair of pajama pants I was wearing when I did one time, and I got a nice green paint stain on my pajama pants still. Ooh, I want to go a little heavy handed. Oh well. And then put an equal part of water. I've got water in a Mountain Dew bottle. <laughs> Are you chewing on a bottle, Addie? No, it's her, one of her Kong toy, new Kong toys I got her. like a purple stick. Ow, why'd you try to bite me? So I'm looking at short excursions for my cruise. I think I might do, since I'm not doing the drink package, I think I might do this Peggy's Cove and Titanic in Halifax. That'd be cool. Peggy's it, Cove is really nice. From what I've heard or pictures I've seen. My mom is just this tour takes you to two of Halifax's most popular sites, Peggy's Cove and the Fairview, Fairview Lawn Cemetery, the final resting place of 121 passengers of the Titanic. Our voyage begins with breathtaking wooded coastal views along the lighthouse route as we make our way to the historic community of Peggy's Cove. Hear how glaciers and constant pounding from ocean waves have shipped the world's renowned village granite shores. See the lighthouse that has been an inspiration for generations of writers, photographers, and painters, and the famous de Graaff DeGarth Monument, which artist and William DeGarth carved in the coarse stone. Take time to explore the shops and galleries around this world fishing, working fishing community before we were, turn along St. Margaret's Bay to the Fairview Lawn Cemetery. Your kilted guide will walk the grounds with you, bringing the tale of the great, shops Ill -fated, great ship's ill-fated maiden voyage to life. Discover the true identities of the unknown child and Jay Dawson, both recover from the icy waters of the Atlantic. Cool. You know, I haven't had a chance to get to Peggy's Cove yet because my parents went when my oldest was two. My mom and I had gone to a jamboree out East Coast and uh, did PEI and New Brunswick. Seen some sites there. But when they went back out, I wasn't able to go. I do want to get to Nova Scotia and Newfoundland because then I'll have hit all 10 provinces. Yeah. But made contact with my bio one of my biological brothers. One lives an hour from me and really doesn't want contact. But my other brother lives in outside of Halifax. So, yeah, I'm excited. I would like to go. My uh, my my time off leave, my leave appro got approved today. I put it in, I don't know, how long ago. And I got the email today that I approved my time. I'm like, you're, I, I was already you're approving me because I'm going. <laughs> um, I guess we're... You want your want it to be kind of a con honey consistency. It's a little bit thinner. Adelaide. Here he is, destination fun. He's good. Addie loves him. Addie absolutely loves him. Get yeah, they back. have to like him. Addie absolutely loves him, and just wants to lick and lick him. I love the video you showed me, <laughs> giving him a bath. Yes, he was soaked. <laughs> 
between her nose and her licking him. But he is the most loving. Ow, Addie. Not her. Here, go get your toy. Atticus is the most loving, cuddliest cat I've ever had. He's cute. I have to put some more glue in this. Probably better best idea to start with a little bit of water. <laughs> it depends on how watery your glue is. Be nice, Addy. I mean, it might be looking for other things to pour over. <laughs> Don't lick his private parts. That's kind of awkward there, Addy. <laughs> One of these days, this kid is just going to attack him. Attack her. Probably. One of the times Addy will go too far and Atticus will just go, hey, knock it off. <laughs> you know, swat. What happened, Meg? <laughs> but don't see any smoke on my camera, so I don't think it was my apartment. What happened with the There was a report that there was a fire in her building. Oh. She was hoping it wasn't her. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit on my head, Atticus. That's good to know, Meg. Ow, Addy, that hurt me. It's a bunch of colors here. We're gonna see how this turns out. Oh. Yeah, that one needs to be shaken. I was thinking the war is like I was thinking like Magic Soul Bus, Miss Miss Frizzle. <laughs> Take chances, make some mistakes, and get messy. This might be messy. We haven't done it for a while, so. But yeah, this kitten is the most cuddliest kitten. For my other two kittens who are my other two cats who are so standoffish. <laughs> he is so cuddly. That one's better. Hey, one. don't lick his private parts. He can clean those by himself. <laughs> Although one of the channels I follow, they got a couple baby goats and a couple calves that they're bottle feeding, and they got a whole bunch of dogs, and the one dog's really like being a being a mother hen. Oh, Meg, are you not even there? Are you already gone? She's gone already. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> I'll try a little bit more glue here. Yep, I'm making a, I'm making a mess. Addy, chill out. I don't know that. <laughs> Mix this a little better. You know, I'm not going to book any excursions on my cruise. I'll just hang out, and if I can get there on my own, I'll get there on my own. <laughs> They're probably cheaper. Yeah. Like, might like even look up from the harbor how far it is to the Peggy's Cove or to the museum. So it might be cheap might be cheaper to take a taxi or an Uber. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. This one. Now. Let's see if I got this picture up here. The picture I use as my thumbnail. I think I got that up there. Uh, 
We're going to bring it up. So that picture here, and it's got all these little cells. Uh-huh. Is that because of the glue? No, actually, that is... Hey, you don't use, lick his bottom. You can use different things that have, I think it's dimethicone in them. Sometimes you get hair sprays and products like that. Or you can use a little, little squirt of WD-40. Oh. So you want to do this in a ventilated room if you're going to. Everywhere. Let's see how this turns out because it's a little bit more watery than. Leave us alone. Callie, go lay down. I'm too busy with a mess. To... So we'll see how this turns out. If not, I'll do it another time. <laughs> we'll experiment some more and do it another time if it doesn't turn out. Well, that's why I got an extra cup. I'm going to do is a poor little one color. Let me pour a little of another. You're not going to mix these. You're just going to. I'm going to stir this up a little bit better. We'll see how this turns out because it's a little bit more watery than I'd prefer. Except maybe the blue. The blue doesn't look too bad. Guess who has a vet appointment tomorrow? Atticus? Nope. Uh-oh. Adelaide. It's time for her. I need to get all her vaccines up to date and her rabies and her Bortella, all that up to date. No, no. Say, what did I do with that? I don't know if you can see that well. Oops, the colors are in there. They're kind of. Oh, that looks cool. But it's still watery than I want to be. Well, the one way you can do this, and this is why I, <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to do. <laughs> Before I get to that, I'm going to put a pair of gloves on. <laughs> I got sticky glue on my fingers. Yeah, if it doesn't turn out, I'll do it do it another time on a live just to get some better stuff. <laughs> but we'll see how what happens. So one way you can do it: take your canvas, 
Put it upside down on your cup and turn it upside down. I'm going to sit it in there so it doesn't go all over my table here. And see what happens when I lift the cup up. Oh, that looks cool. And then you just kind of but you can see the little cells in there, the little circles. I'm just going to turn it so I can get it all over the top. Come on. Hey, Danny. Hey, Nick. I might do it a little this way here. You have to bark it's your dad in the uh, kitchen. I'm just gonna try to but see the way it's on those little cells. That's that's because of the um, the WD forty. Now I got a mess on my fingers. I want one wanted more cells. You apply a little heat. I happen to have a heat gun. <laughs> Just make sure I haven't got paint all over my. I want to get all of the heat gun. But I've also seen people. I've also seen people take a lighter. And do a little, just just above the, and it'll make the cells pop even more. Or I have a heat gun that's for craft purposes. So pop there. Um, Busby said, "Don't start a fire." That's why they only go a little bit above it. That did pretty good on its own. A lot of blue there, but we'll see that how that turns out. So I can do it. Do it again a little like Amy did. Put some colors in this. That's enough blue. Orange. Oops. The pink. You want a little thicker consistency, more like honey, and this that turned out a little too watery. I should have put the glue and then the paint and then added a little water. Or the way Amy did it. She did more of a pour yeah. and just going around. No, you can't have my pen. Go. Meg, Central Time is not weird.
So that one turned out cool too. So I might take out this thing from underneath because it's making it bow in the center. And then I can take. Leslie, no, it's not. Central time is not weird, people. Oh, that doesn't want to work that way. Okay, we'll try the heat then. The other one never came out better. This one's got cool colors too. The other thing, time, thing I thought of doing is pouring some over a rock. See what it does. It's not too bad. I like the pink and the orange and that, but it made it look kind of muddy. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm happy with that one. <laughs> but it's really just playing around with colors. I like the one of the ones I did at my coworker's house when we did it. Did with like some metallic ones too, and it could turn out kind of cool. But that one's got more of the cells in it. I'm gonna set them up there to dry. <laughs> ah, it's sticky now. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn my camera off so I can move my thing without making you guys all dizzy. <laughs> oh, I bet. I have a hard time keeping the prizes quiet when they happen to me. All right, come on. All right. Oh. Another surprise, Busby? <laughs> or is that the same one some of us know about already? <laughs> I'm just gonna move the paints out of my way and then I'll move my computer so I can so it looks like I'm more like I'm talking to you and not side of my head. And a great thing to put down is one of those party uh, tablecloths. Oh, same one. Same one? Okay. Same surprise we all know. <laughs> or here. Some of your close friends and family know that. Okay. I'll have to let them dry. And then next week I'll show them what they look. Now what have I missed? What have I missed? Holy smokes. I'm back at Meg says, I actually have my microwave set to essentials too. So I don't have to think when Paul asks what time it is. <laughs> yeah, destination fun is in here. Seeing the looking at smoke. Let's see, over. Yeah. Sometimes it's more fun to explore on your own. Yeah. What color? What? It's multicolor. We're gonna see how it dries. It's nice and shiny there, but when it dries, it goes like, kind of like, like a matte finish, but you can always put a gl gloss on top of it. 
We'll see. Oh, well, you're working on your your uh, you know, like Japanese garden castle type thing. Hey, Nick. All right, you're getting your hair dyed soon. To the wedding. I believe she's going purple as well. Yeah. Dye your hair. You dye your hair too often or bleach it too often, it can damage it. Yeah. So I think that's what's happened to my son's girlfriend. She's changed a lot of things. You know, and she bleached it out, and then it's just kind of stay growing out right now. Just to. Yep. Question for all you people out there. So McDonald's has a sweet and sour sauce. It's good. I like it. Is there, does anybody know if there's something similar in grocery stores that I could buy so I don't have to walk into McDonald's and say, I would just like to buy some sweet and sour sauce, please. Like I did yesterday. <laughs> And all I want to eat is french fries and sweet and sour sauce. So. No. No Meg, no, Meg doesn't know. We're good. Some of those are going to keep in secret. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> What is today? Oh, this is, it's like not September yet. Tomorrow. So I haven't tried their. Oh, I've always had just honey with my uh, nuggets, so I don't, don't know what their sauces taste like. I don't know if it's similar to the Chick fil A Polynesian sauce. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to close my <laughs> trying to close it. this cheap little tripod. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's harder. So I didn't want to get out. So I shouldn't say I didn't want to get out the big one. The big one's already out because I took a whole bunch of pictures last night of full moon. And I'm making a little video out of it. Actually, I made a video. I haven't uploaded it yet. Since last last night was the super blue moon. I just know when I tried to take pictures with the camera, my hand does when it gets zoomed that far out, it's not that steady. And I <laughs> I'm trying to find the moon and doing this. <laughs> last night I used the tripod out my window. Because I can slide the window and I can slide the screen over. So it's just a clear view and it was right over the top of the building. Next, I don't know what the. How about, I don't know, sweet and sour sauces. I've bought in the grocery store pretty sweet. <laughs> More sweet than sour. <laughs> Because we have a brand here called VH. Addy, leave buy their, this alone. Used to buy their sweet and sour. The boys, um, I just did breaded chicken breast and stirred it with some sweet and sour sauce. And, but now I got hooked on the same company. He's got a sweet Thai chili. <laughs> it's got a little bit more flavor to it than a little nip to it too. 
but I need to get some more of that. But I have to go to Walmart to do that because No Frills doesn't have it. Hey, guess what, Sherry? Outback has the remote again. We have Remo again. I don't know if we got to, to a Chick fil A yet. I haven't had Chick fil A in a while. Well, the closest one that I know of is near V, and the other one would be probably. Uh, I don't even know if they have them in Michigan. I know that. Yeah, sure. Outback's had Remo. We've had it back for three years. Two. We've had it back for a while now. Um, <laughs> that's bugging me now. I know my daughter in law likes Chick fil A. Always wants to go there. Let's see. Well, there is some in Michigan. Shelby Township and Troy, Michigan. Do you have one? Do you have an outback close to you, Sherry? Yeah, we still serve it with our salmon and our grilled shrimp. We serve it with our salmon and our grilled shrimp. So we've had it since I've moved to Texas because that's when we went back to the no the shrimp on the uh, on the bread. Does it show the one up near? No, it doesn't show the one up near me. Yep. So Sherry, we went back to I don't know if you got it with the shrimp or the salmon, but we went back to the shrimp on the garlic toast with served with ramalad, and then we serve it with our a ramalad with our salmon. Seems to be a bunch of Chick fil A's around Detroit area, and it looks like one in Windsor. Well, maybe if I get to Windsor sometime, go visit my friend. And Sherry, if you have any questions about Outback menu, I know it. <laughs> Inside and out, probably. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm a little fairly knowledgeable in it. I mean, like you kind of have to be if you're near the proprietor. <laughs> when your name's on the door. On one of the buildings, you know. <laughs> your name's above the door and they come in and it's like, they will ask you something. I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. I uh, I talked to a table. And I was like, well, my name's Amy. I'm the manager. If there's anything I can do for you. He's like, as in Amy, your name is above the door. I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Has been for about a month. <laughs> You get it on the side and dip your prime rib into it or fries. Okay. But yeah, they got Remo again. It depends on my fries. Like some, some places are like my fries with ketchup. So if it's French fries, it's salt and vinegar. If it's where my youngest used to work, all they do when it comes off is so you have to take a metal bowl, they put them over in the metal bowl and they toss them salt and pepper and it's like, it doesn't need anything else. <laughs> Ready for Paul to get here, y'all are making me hungry. <laughs> Sorry, Meg. Well, my youngest is doing something with, it's only a couple chicken breasts, so I don't know what doing with that. I made potato salad today <laughs> so hopefully not everybody eats that before I get any more and then I thought I got rid of all of my tomatoes and a friend brought a whole bag of tomatoes so I cooked them up today and made uh, just tomato sauce with some onion and garlic in it nice Ooh, wings in the air fryer would be nice. I could do, uh, would take too long for my wings. I got a piece of chicken out thawing and I'll cook it probably, I don't know how, probably with the barbecue. But, ooh, maybe I'll make, I'll do maybe, no, teriyaki and sweet and sour will be too many flavors together. That would be a weird combo. <laughs> and then I was, then I was cutting, what was I cutting? Okay. 
slice the edge of my thumb. Hey, guess what? I cut my finger when I was cutting my grapefruit. What was I cutting? I don't remember. remember now. <laughs> yeah, you can go bug your dad. I'm busy. Sherry, <laughs> where are you from again? To go check out Back's menu. We'll be right back. He's cutting the veggies, I think, for the uh, potato salad. I was almost done. <laughs> I was like, dang it. <laughs> Hurt like a, <laughs> and then try to find a band aid around here. Ooh, Tampa. Tampa. Do you go to the Outback on Henderson? Oh, well, the headquarters is Tampa. Or the one on, or the one on West Shore. Headquarters in Tampa, right? Mm-hmm. And the person who got me into management is. The proprietor, the same position I am of the original Outback on Henderson. Nice. And it's funny. So I'll do my orientations and I'll like talk about my Outback journey and I'll be like, yeah, I was a server and I go, I had a manager and then she ended up being my managing partner that really wanted me into management and she pushed me into it and I did it. And then we'll read the Outbacker handbook and then it talks about how the four founders founded it in Tampa. And then I always swing it back. I was like, remember that manager that I talked about how it pushed me into management? And they're like, yeah, I go, she's actually the managing partner of this original location now. The only thing that's really bugging me about cutting my thumb and having to wear a Band-Aid right now, it's a pain in the butt when I'm going to text on my phone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cool. Her closest one is Henderson. Nice. <laughs> yes. My very good friend and the person, one of my Outback mentors is the man. Her name is above that store, Bobby Logan. Bobby Lee Logan. Nice. And she actually just posted pictures on her Facebook that um, one of the founders was in her store two days ago. And the mayor was supposed to be there to do a like key city thing and original. And then because of the hurricane, all of it didn't happen. But she posted. Sorry, I was just checking some checking something out. I don't it's think one of our founders eating a blooming onion with my friend Bobby in the background. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, everything was closed for the hurricane. I was praying for you guys down there, like. I know people in Tampa area, and then I follow some channels in northern um, Florida, too. One in Jacksonville, or one in Jacksonville, another one closer to Tallahassee, and it's like, where is it going? Where is it going? <laughs> Destiny, Sherry says, now I want Alpha. If you go in, ask for Bobby, and be like, I know Amy from Texas. <laughs> Hey, I know Amy from Texas. Do you know Amy from Texas? <laughs> she knows nothing about the YouTube channel, but just tell her you know Amy from Texas. <laughs> Amy from Kansas City and now Texas. So I know this person. I guess she's not, no proprietor in Abilene. <laughs> I'm talking about might order it tomorrow night. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to have tomorrow night. I'm going to have potato salad and whatever gets done with the chicken as long as it's that up for three of us. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to get some groceries. No, I think I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to go get brats and then more fries and more sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> well, I got some really good potatoes last yeah, they don't have that Queensland salad anymore. They got rid of that, whoa, 14 years ago. That's no good. I hate when the place gets something you like and then it's gone. Yeah. 
That's what got me last, was it last week? Or the week before? Place where my son used to work makes an awesome Cuban sandwich. But he does it like maybe once a year. Mm. Maybe twice. And I guess what special was last week? <laughs> Cuban sandwich. Cuban sandwich. <laughs> didn't have money to go to order a Cuban sandwich. Like, and dang it, couldn't have the bun anyways. <laughs> Sherry's looking at the meatloaf because she goes, yuck, meatloaf. This was getting me. It was like, I was like trying to find something to eat. I'm hungry. It's you know, a late night snack. What is it? There's bread and bread and wraps. <laughs> I could make a sandwich with peanut butter and jam. Well, I can't do it now because my... I ate the end of the peanut butter last night. Like, I can't have the bread. Dang it. <laughs> I haven't had bread since the 13th. 18 days I haven't had bread because today's day 18. <laughs> the other night he picked up some chicken burgers on the way home. The, the breaded chicken burger patties. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> End up peeling the Reading off of it and cut it up and threw it in with a uh, store fry that was left over. Oh, geez, Meg. Meg says, don't use Lyft in Little Rock. <laughs> you know, I've never been to Little Rock. Never really been to Arkansas? Me either. One of the states I haven't done yet. What did I do with that piece of paper? What did I do? I had two printed off maps and I was coloring this, the states and the provinces I've been to. I thought they were in here. I cleaned up. No, I can't find anything. They were there. Or they're in my desk. <laughs> Busby wants some Alice Springs chicken. You want everything on the menu? Well, I'm going to have to hopefully get to Outback next year. And Bucky's. <laughs> Trying to I, think don't, I don't like we need to get you guys when you guys come, come and you guys need to come to Abilene. But we're like out of the way for like that to happen, like without you coming down like a week before. A couple days before. Just so you can see my store. Yeah. And, and then we can drive to Galveston and go to a Bucky's. You know, Bucky's are more in the south. So like the closest one I seen was like Richmond, Tennessee or something. Yep. Cherry, you have the Outback Corporate. That's where our home office is on West Shore Boulevard. Now I have I have seen another back. Last October in Detroit Airport. But it's not open at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little early. I actually took a picture of it <laughs> to show it to Amy, but it's like <laughs> I seen an <another> back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping that, so she mentioned that, like, I'm hoping they'll have, a, like, a, they've been having new managing partner walkabouts every couple months, and I'm hoping I'll get to go on um, the next one, and it will be in Tampa. And then I can see my friend Bobby, and then I can even see Sherry, meet Sherry, you know, the people. Yeah, I'm coming to Tampa. Who wants to meet up? <laughs> oh, that's cool, Sherry. Yeah, I don't, I just don't know, like, what, um, if I do go, like, what kind of, what the schedule will be like, like, how long I'll be there and all that stuff. But I thought about not going on this cruise and switching it to later and doing one out of Tampa, but I just decided to go ahead and go on this cruise and miss out on the work thing and do it one another time. 
I mean, come on, it's, it's an easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just got my internet package, my water, and my transportation to and from the ship, from to and from to the ship, and then back to the airport from the ship. That'll be fun. Yeah. I'm so I excited. I know. I got. I was while well, I was moving things around and rearranging stuff. Now you got Busby and I got watching uh, Shane from Paralife TV. And he got new furniture and he was moving things around in his office and that. And I was watching there and I started puttering around. Next thing I know, it's like gone through that closet. I gone through that closet and moved things. I was like. <sighs> So then I come across stuff is like, oh, well, this is cruise stuff. You gotta put that somewhere safe so I don't misplace it. <laughs> we got stuff pulled out for somewhere else I'm going in September. <laughs> Shane is a beast. You guys should just forget your plans in December and go to Halifax and meet me in Halifax. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll start walking now. <laughs> really? You're as bad as Callie for attention. <laughs> he comes up with his head on my knee and does that. I think what else was it? Chat with. This is going to take a while to dry. And I better not tip it because then it's going to. Hey, Moonlight Adventures. How are you today? Hello, Josh. Yeah, I like your. Uh, Worst me meal in the MDR. <laughs> Click. You got hooked on this. Like, okay, I'm going to say, worst meal. What, what is, no, it wasn't a worst meal. He tricked me. Sorry, I was late cooking a tri tip. Making me hungry. And I can't even barbecue because you got to get propane. Mm hmm. Which is a little challenging when you don't have a vehicle. <laughs> I'll be curious, like, like looking at these new apartments that I'm looking at, and they're like building brand new ones. So I think I'll be able to get in like the brand new ones, like the brand new complex that set up the same. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering with like the little private backyard thing, like with the concrete slab and then rocks. I wonder if you can be able to have a little grill. I don't know. That would be a question that I'd have to see when if I move in. Hopefully. We're, we're allowed to here. Just we have to because the, um, the fencing around the uh, patio is made of a composite. I'm just going to make sure it's pulled away from there so it doesn't melt the fencing. <laughs> I guess they've had that problem before. <laughs> Hey, Sean S. Hey, Sean. Long time. Snow C. Missed you, girl. I've been able to, I couldn't get the stupid barbecue to start last year. Tried it this year. No problem. Until I ran out of propane. I remember you saying that. It's like, dang it. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe my oldest in town this weekend. No. Nah. Never mind. I'd like to get some propane, but maybe maybe get one of these guys to pay for it. <laughs> I gotta save my money to go on an adventure soon. Yeah, just change up that adventure plans and just come to Halifax. Or New Brunswick. Or St. John's. New Brunswick. Either or. 
I make I'm like what I re, like thinking about it like I was looking at my magnets and seeing like all new places for me. Never been to New York, never been to Maine, like going to these places in Canada, like all new places. New York was a new place for me last October. In fact, we were only in LaGuardia for two hours and couldn't see a dang thing because it was overcast. That's where I'll be. I, I land in LaGuardia. Go bug your dad. I'm busy. It's a big airport. It's the one, I just know it's the one that Southwest flies into. My no, friend Love no. Field at six in the morning and it's a straight shot. And there's an I love New York, like I love NY sign in the, the uh, airport. And I think there's a big apple too, but we never got down to that part because it was, we were up where <laughs> waiting right at the gate. We weren't where departures or whatever it was. Yeah. I just know I'm going to have to buy a New York shot glass, a New York magnet, do the same in Maine, do the same in Halifax, do the same in St. John's. Um, there was a little, going to the Yankee game. Because there was a little place in the uh, airport seeing all the New York stuff. And it was like, yeah, <laughs> I already blew my budget on souvenirs. <laughs> Maybe next time if I ever get a chance to stop in New York. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't buy them in the New York airport. I'll buy them like... I'll, I'm sure, like, they'll have sure. stuff to buy, like, at World Trade Center or even, like, somewhere down in Times Square, like, they'll have somewhere where I can go buy my shot glass and magnet for New York City. I'm busy. And then go into the Yankee game, like, I'll have to buy a Yankee shirt, but I'm not going to buy a Yankee shirt till I get to New York. For the pure fact of, I don't know what the weather will be like in 23, 22 days. Well, I don't know if I need a short sleeve shirt or a long sleeve shirt. Oh, come on. You're going to get a long sleeve hooded t-shirt if you can find one. <laughs> yeah. No one, Amy. Mm -hmm. She likes the yeah, long yeah. sleeve hooded t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's been out that way, but it's been cool here. Like, we're sitting at 67 today. Yeah, I'll probably end up just getting a long sleeve Yankee shirt. You might want it every time you get to Halifax. And oh well, my suitcase will be a mix of like we'll work out shorts, work out shirts, then I'll have jeans and I'll have my leggings and I'll have short sleeve shirts and I'll have my long sleeve shirts. Was well, something scary, Kelly? You jump back. One of her new Kong toys. <laughs> That's cute. I got a bag there sitting with flyers and stuff that I got about Ontario to take to on 23. <laughs> he just went up to it with his nose and also jumped back like and bit him or something. You know, there's two other people in the house. Although your mom is probably sleeping. Addie just heard him whining. Look at her. <laughs> you hear Kelly whining? Addie's listening to you whine. And I'm talking to Kelly, and Kelly's doing the same head tilt thing. <laughs> you go to doggy daycare tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> We go to the vet and then we go to doggy daycare. Yay! It's been cooler because the storm's in Atlanta hot here. It's hot, hot in uh, Little Rock. Wow. I guess, uh, guess that's so. <laughs> that's fairly so. Yeah. <laughs> I have to look up. Have to look on my map over here <laughs> to figure out where. I'm at. Southern Georgia got hit by a tropical storm now. 
Don't eat my pin. No. My pin. You already ate my book. Go. No. Oh, Adelaide's got a message for everybody. Here it comes. E4 and 5? Yep. Okay. Don't know what that means. I don't know. All capital, too. Uh-huh. Go tell your dad. I looked, guys, uh, and I don't see anything, but I assume V's not going live because she hasn't been feeling well all week. Yeah. She didn't post anything, but. Can you take them out for me, please. Thank you. Addie, no. Don't knock over my water. Yeah. I, if I know her, she probably doesn't have a voice or much of one. <laughs> yeah. Spray as she gets better real quick. Yeah. You need to win the lottery. I want to cruise sooner than next year. <laughs> Right. Oh, hey, I cruise in. It's my my last cruise as a gold member. Uh, was that, I had an email. Was it today? Yep. Alerts. Earns, but. 20,000 something or other. 20,000 fun points. You have a close a exclusive VIP yeah, VIFP offers. I was like, yeah, I wish. View profile. Club number. You're red. Yeah, I'm red. Only 17 points to go to get gold. <laughs> Yay. Hold on. I need to put my pin up so Adelaide does not eat it because it is my purple pin. It's not a chew toy. Oh, she loves pins. Kelly doesn't bother with any of that stuff. He was a big one for chewing shoes. Until he started getting penned up. And then he quit chewing shoes. He's good. He doesn't chew on anything. That... Paul reminds me every time he talks that Arkansas is in the South. Yeah, I just didn't realize how far south. <laughs> well, yeah, that's just above uh, just above Louisiana, isn't it? Need better. <laughs> Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. <laughs> no, most of them are. I wish I had the puzzle that my grandparents had one that was a American map, map USA puzzle. Always putting it together. So I had an idea, but doing YouTube and meeting people from all over but, and getting the map is like, okay. Okay, Amy's there. Meg's over there. Destination Fund's in Tampa, which is down there. <laughs> Somebody say where they're from, and I was like, where is that? How far away is that? <laughs> Anyways. I will post the pictures or I will show these next week. Next week is what a, next week will be trivia. Say, <laughs> so what do I do the first week? It's trivia. Addy, what are we doing here? Oh. Where is my 
Great, move things around now. I can't find my YouTube book. notebook. No, because it's over beside my bed. Be right back. Ooh. That sounds interesting. It's a long time since I looked it up, so celebrity birthday trivia. So Ooh, thing. And then the next week we'll be cooking and I changed the the item so I don't I don't know what that's going to be. Twenty first I will be away, but I will um, drop a video that night. And then the 28th will be essential oil. It'll be my, my, one of my favorite for a headache. <laughs> got a few more weeks I got to fill in there and figure out things to, to make and cook with me. Because I got to go back and look at my videos and go, did I make this? <laughs> or lives or <laughs> videos? Did I make this on, on, on video, video or live before? On the 28th, I will be at sea. I'll be home for my adventure, but uh, the 28th is the day after Kenny's birthday. On the 26th, I'll be in New St. John, New Brunswick. On the 27th, I will be in Halifax, Nova Scotia. On the 28th, you'll be headed back. Yeah. On the 29th, we will be back in New York City, and I fly back. You're going to see how, how many beaver tails Amy finds. Yeah, which right now they're not on my diet plan, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to be getting one. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're breaded. <laughs> they're dang. <laughs> so find a friend that's like, want to share one? I just want to bite. I just want to taste. <laughs> what have I seen? I was looking the other something the other day and seen the. Well, it's funny because we went to on twenty three. And we're downtown for Nuit Blanche, and I look over and it's like, oh, there's a beaver tail place there. <laughs> Never got one, but. Probably easy to make. But... I don't know. I gotta look up more. I gotta look up more uh, gluten free recipes. Yeah. So many things I want is like, nope, it's got gluten. Nope, it's got gluten. Although, I found one on Facebook. is What is it? GFE Gluten Free or something like that. That's the page. GFE Gluten Free Easily. Health and Wellness website. And then uh, one of the channels I follow... The, the sister of the one guy has her has a channel with Jilly G gluten free. I look, she does recipes and stuff, so should watch that. But I've got gluten free flowers. I got coconut flour. I have oat flour, and I have almond flour. I just need to. Do more cooking and with that, but I, some of the stuff you have to throw other things in with. So I see found a recipe on this GFE one for making uh, like a gluten free all purpose flour. So I probably should stay away from pecan flour, but the other flours I could do. Well, not until after my diet is over. Almond and uh, almond flour is just ground almonds, <laughs> ground up almonds. 
really yeah, fun. Almonds are also tree nuts. True. True. I made oat flour. I got a couple huge bags of um, gluten-free oats. And I just uh, pureed them really fine. I forget that this one. I forget what this, which flour she said to mix together, but then you, when you go to bake with it, then you got to use a little bit of xanthan gum and so, something else and something else. It's like I got to go to the bulk store and get those things. <laughs> Ready for fall weather? Uh, we already have, have fall weather here. It sucks. No, it's. 98 degrees outside right now. <laughs> well, it's funny when it was free, freezing cold in the winter and then the winter was dragging on. It's like, I'm not going to complain about the heat. I'm not going to complain about the heat this summer. I don't care how hot it gets. I'm not going to complain about the heat. And, we've had and then like, you didn't get anything. Then we've had like three days that have been over 80. <laughs> Maybe one that got close to 90. It's like, you're kidding me. 67 today was like 65 yesterday or the day before oh geez that's miserable like i was wearing my carnival hoodie yesterday to take dog out <laughs> the wind was i mean you can see what i'm wore today outside <laughs> <laughs> well, i had my carnival hoodie on the first couple times i took about today and then I was out talking to a neighbor, and it's like, okay, there's no breeze today. And actually, I'm getting kind of warm, so I took it off. I think I have a t-shirt underneath, but fall isn't cold, but it's cooler than what we have now here in Tampa. It's 91 right now. Fahrenheit, Busby. It's 67 Fahrenheit right now. If it was 67 Celsius, she'd be dead. I'd be on the freaking sun. <laughs> I just recorded temperature in Canada last year in Lytton, BC. And the next day, the, the town burnt, burnt down to, to a brush fire. <laughs> so, like, We've been having so many fires in Texas. Like, how quickly most of the uh, place in Hawaii on Maui that burned down. That was just that quick. Gone. Annie! Same thing happened years ago in Fort McMurray. Oh. I got you all right, but now don't I? <laughs> I suggested he make chicken strips. So it smells like he might have done that. <laughs> what are you whining about? You just went outside. Go downstairs. Oh, How close that. was it to you, Busby? Be? That's scary. Go lay down. Good boy. It's about 20 minutes. Holy crap. Too close for comfort. Yeah. Can't imagine. Be better off being closer to this border than close to that border. Right. <laughs> At least in Canada, there's, you know, it's not a bunch of illegal immigrants from here trying to get over to the states. What is wrong with you, Addy? Spaz.
<laughs> See if she'll do weirdo. it. Hey, weirdo. Addy. She was like, she'd go around in a circle, sit down, get back up, we'd go around in another circle, and lay back down, get up, and do it again. She did it like three times. I called Addy, and Callie's hat had turned around. It's like, no, it said Addy, not Callie. She's, she's watching Atticus. And now she decides she needed a drink of water. You don't think your kitties are out? You still haven't seen them sneak up. I went to the bathroom last night. And I'm coming back here into my bedroom. And Kelly's like up on the bed. And Glaceon is creeping into my room. Peeking around. <laughs> it's like, what? Behind her. Well, where you go? <laughs> Busted. The Canadians are smarter than that. Yep. I went to get my car insurance figured out and ran up to the store to take care of something real quick. And I came back and Azul was out of the, the bedroom. She was out here. I don't know. I think she was drinking from Adelaide's water because I think her and the kitten weren't like in the water. So I got them new water and their bowl. But. It's like, oh, that, kit, that kitten's out there. Maybe we can go. We should go out and explore. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Sorry. You're funny, Buzzy. You're funny. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to give you a hug. Kisses? No, I'm trying to think of why it's so loud. I got the other, other window open. You know what that word means. There you go. There you go. I went downstairs after my son got home from work. Do you like giving the kitty kisses? Yeah. And he went to go find the kitty. Yeah. He's leaning back in his chair, to his desk chair, talking to me. Also, Glaceon jumps up on, walks up, starts licking his nose, licking his eyes. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Old school shit. That look pretty good looking uh, potato salad. Yeah, I made it myself. <laughs> right. I made it yourself. I made it. You made it myself. Uh, no, you're not getting any. Did you get a plate? Did you just get a plate full of food? The potato salad and chicken strips. Nice. But no honey for my chicken strips because they used it all the other night. <laughs> I had one, I had a half a thing of uh, sweet and sour. Pretty sure Adelaide ate it because I found the container. But I still have one. I don't think I have anything good in my bag of sauces. Ketchup, salt, pepper. If we get desperate, I put ketchup on it. No, I'm not sharing it. <laughs> Andy, come here. You get bed soon. No, that's because somebody messaged me. So I gotta put with that thumb and the band-aid won't <laughs> do anything. Meg says the cicadas are out in force there. Yeah. No, I'm not sharing with you. I love you, but I'm not sharing. They were bad around here probably a few weeks ago. But I was, there were some channels I would follow, Texas, Oklahoma. <laughs> and it's like, as soon as every time they went out to do uh, videos, all the cicadas are going and 
as long as it's bad as the wind. But it's Dale's out walking around, and there's crickets out in the middle there. As we said, he just ate ham and eggs, and no, they weren't green eggs. Was it green ham? Green eggs and ham. You went for that breakfast, didn't you? I did. I thought you did on the on the dream. Maybe on the Venezia, I'll do the um, behind the scenes. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe on the Venezia, I'll do the behind the fun tour. Even though I can't record anything, I can at least talk about it. Why don't you put more pepper on my salad? Put salt and pepper on it. Keep smiling at me. <laughs> You're not getting any. Meg's wandering aimlessly. Waiting for Paul. Honey cured ham. I don't take any ham right now. How much longer until Paul's going to be there, Meg? Yeah, Meg, I did the behind the fun on the Liberty. Not the Liberty. The Victory. Which is now the Radiance. So that's a ship I need to get on is the Radiance just so I can see the difference. Although it was my second cruise. And so I just, I don't even know if I'm going to remember what the <laughs> it was like to compare was it. Was that there before? <laughs> Stop staring at my food. It was my, my second cruise. We went to Key West and Cozumel out of Miami. Nope. Go lay down. Lay down. <laughs> Whine at me. For the hour half from his place, messaging me. Hopefully soon. Well, no, you're probably tired. <laughs> or did you said something about not tired now? Back there. Can't sleep, can't decide what's okay. But yeah, maybe I'll do that behind the fun on the Venetia and then just have that fun. And it's on the last sea day. That would be cool. Because the only reason I didn't do it on the dream was because I had the Dr. Seuss breakfast. But the Venetia would be a nice class of ship to do it on, especially since it's a cost to came from, uh, it was a Costa ship, but it's in the, so it's a, Venezia is a Costa ship, but it is a Vista class ship. Anticipation, yep. So yeah. it's the same, basically it's the same size and like a similar setup to the Horizon. Right. Hey, Eric. I just could go back, back and look it up pictures and videos and like, actually I made another video I don't know if I put it out or not but it's like I did dinner in a show and it was just all the the videos I did of the waiters singing and dancing and that okay I might release it because I, I brought the mu the music they're singing and dancing to down and then put another music and brought it up a bit but not enough to interfere. I've done that before, and it's it's messed up the algorithm so it doesn't recognize the oh. copyrighted song. <laughs> I've done that on a couple, and it's like... Meg says, I also just now remembered it's Thursday. I'm going to kick you out of my room if you don't stop. Yeah, it's Thursday. Mm -hmm. I've lost track of days too, and then it's like, yeah. oh, I gotta keep track of Thursdays because <laughs> I didn't want to miss my live. I just know I had to have my employee schedules posted today. So I had to be the mean boss and tell my managers, get your schedules done so I can review them. 
have them done Wednesday night. Let me know. Did you get your schedule done? Did you get your schedule done? And he schedules it now. Huh? I mean, schedules it now. Yeah. <laughs> I will feed you shortly. Not like you ate it very quickly earlier. Yeah, I can be mean. Now I've seen Amy ticked off. <laughs> Usually don't see too much on a live, but <laughs> it'll be a long weekend. There's, right, it's Labor Day weekend. Yeah, it is Labor Day weekend. I will, I have tomorrow, the rest, of, well, I didn't work today. I have tomorrow off. I take Adelaide to the vet and then drop her off at the borders. And then Saturday morning, I'll drive to San Angelo and I'll be in the San Angelo store Saturday and Sunday, then come back and do inventory Sunday night. And work Monday, and then work Tuesday, then work Wednesday, then work Thursday, and then have Friday and Sunday off. And I originally had Thursday off because it was Chiefs football, but John had to come to my store on that. I'm like, she texted him. I'm like, do you realize you scheduled to come to my store on Chiefs football, like opening day of football, and it's the Chiefs are playing? How dare he? And then we can't go anywhere to watch it. <laughs> I mean, we can. We just can't drink. It must take a lot to tick you off, Meg. Yeah. It generally will take a lot for me to get mad, too. Like, well. All right. Dragon Con. It would have been cool. Friends from the town here, actually, my co worker's oldest son and his ex went down to Dragon Con one year. Adelaide hears him whining. And as soon as I look at him, he looks away. He whines, and I says, Oh, can you go? Who, me? That's me. He's being a suck. Just like you can be sometimes. And uh oh, been on an hour and a half. I'm gonna call it here. I'll be back next week, guys. Maybe I'll do a pop up on the weekend if I get bored. <laughs> Everybody have a safe long weekend. And I will see you on. You tilt your head. <laughs> I will see you next week. Let me get my mouse to cooperate here. Bye, y'all. <laughs>